Hi, welcome to a product review and tutorial by Robojax. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this programmable resistor module. Let's get started with this. This is a programmable resistor that we have two points here that you get the actual unknown or uh, the, the assigned resistor and these are the values that you set so this is the ones and this is the tens hundreds and then thousand ten thousand hundred thousand and million once you set this so this is the the, the mega ohm and this is nine uh, so you can set it at 9.99999 mega ohm which is 10 mega ohm the tolerance of these resistors that are here are one uh, percent that's very precise and then we have a jump we have jumpers that you can remove for example currently this is set at 100 so we are at 4 so that is 4 times 100 that's 400 and that is at set at 1 so this is 10 because 1 times 10 is 10 and this is 1 times 6 is 6 so this is a 416 this is 416 ohm this has very simple construction all the values that are here they are 1 ohm when you put it at 2, so 2 of this, the current will pass from the second one, so 2 ohm. So these are all 10 ohm, these are all 100 ohms, so these are 100 ohm each. Once you connect it, you are connecting the path. These are in series. So that is why we are adding that 6 ohm here, because 1, 2, 3, and each is 1 ohm. Same thing here, these are all 10 ohm, and these are in series. They are connected like that. Let me show you one of this 10 kilo ohm. If I put this here and put this at the next one on the other side, it is connected. This side is not connected because this side is connected to the other one. Ten. And same thing if I go for 100 ohms. You see they are connected. This is connected and this is connected. This, all of these are connected such that this is connected to this and this line is connected to all of this. So let me show you. If I put my ohm meter and continuity tester, all of this. But this cannot go to this side otherwise except with this uh, jumper. And if I check here, the same way this is connected to all of this. Also here. And on this side this is all connected to these pens. So when you, you see, this is connected and only this path goes. So, but for the last portion, and now to show you the last pen, the last pen is connected to this side because this resistor goes like that amongst all of those and then from here it's connected to the last point point so let me show you all of those so whichever resistor we want when we put the jumper it gets connected and from here it's connected there so this is the actual resistor that we are looking for and the length of this is 90 millimeter, 9 centimeter. The width is 36 millimeter or 3.6 centimeter, and the depth is 11.6 millimeter. If you want to know the weight, it weighs 19 gram, 19.1. This is now 3 times 1 is 300 and then 6 times 10 is 60 and then that is 2. So 362 and these are all 0. Here is the schematic. So that is 1, 2 and then 60, 3. So that's 362 and from here this is all 0 and it continues. So this is another example. These are all zero, 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 and then we have here 7,000, 7 kilos, and then 200, and then 50, and 4. 
7254. The path, th this is a 4, so 1, 2, 3, and 4, and from here we go 50, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and then from here 200, and then after that 7000, that's 1000, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then 7000, and from here all 0, 0, 0, and connect it from here. You want to have 0 ohm, the connector, the jumper should be at position 0, all of them, these are 0, so 0 times mega is 0, times 100 kilo, times 10 kilo, 1 kilo, 100, 10 and 1, everything is multiplied by 0, so the result is 0, and here is the configuration, uh, so from this side, if you look, th these switches are connected, the jumper, the others are open, because we can do only one of them. So from here, it just goes like that, and from here it comes back, so that's why we have 0 ohm. And if you need 5 ohm, so you just put this at 5 and everything else is 0. And here is the path, so the 5 is connected, it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then from here directly passes with all and then comes back, so at this point we have 5 ohm. So this is 4.2 mega ohm, so this is located 4, 4 times mega is 4 mega, and then 200 kilo, this is at 2 times 100 kilo, that's 200 kilo, or 0 0.2 mega, this is 0 0.2 mega, 4.2 mega, and this is all 0. Here is how it's shown here, as you can see here, these are all connected, and from here we go one resistor and two resistor that's 200 kilo ohm and then from here it goes one mega two mega three mega and then four mega and comes back this way that's 4.2 mega ohm you can remove for example currently this is set at 100 so we are at four so that is four times 100 that's 400 and that is at set at one so this is 10 because 1 times 10 is 10 and this is 1 times 6 is 6 so this is a 416 this is 416 ohm so let's check that first As you can see here, that is, uh, that's shown as 415, and my multimeter doesn't have a decimal point. So my, the resolution of this is low, so you can see up to 415, so that's very accurate. Now, uh, let me remove this. Now, when I remove this, because it's open, we see overload or unlimited resistance, which means there is no path for the, uh, for the current, 7,190 and something. So let's see, this is now at seven, so that's definitely 7,201 and six, 216, so that's 7,216. Many of these variations of these resistors, so many of the variations that you get here, you cannot get it with a standard resistor. That's why this is the best tool for many research applications and uh, projects that you have. You can get exact values with 1% accuracy. Now, as you can see, it shows 84.7 kilo ohm. Now, let's see, that is 10, and it's setting at 8. So this is 80 kilo ohm. That is setting at 4. That's 4 kilo ohm. And here we are, we are at 6 and 7. So 80... 84 kilo ohm, 84,673. So that's exact value because this doesn't show the rest, but this is exact. So the same way if you go for the mega ohm, so let me put it here, 3.9 or 4 mega ohm, as you can see it's 4, 4 4.08. Eight. So that's why 4.06, so you can see 1%, if you calculate the 1%, you will see it. Now, if I put it here, we get 9 mega ohm, and let's in, let me increase it to the max. 
so it shows 9.993 so 9.99 and you, can, you see here that's 4 so this is very accurate thank you for watching this was a review and test of this 7DK 10 mega ohm programmable resistor module take care